Welcome to the Ethernet Connection Setup Tutorial presented by AccuEnergy. In this video, we will provide a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to connect the AccuVim 2 Series power meter to the internet so that you can access the meter from anywhere in the world. Let's start by assigning the IP address to the AccuVim 2 power meter. After we power the meter up, we first need to go to the setting mode. If you're not clear on how to access the setting mode, Please refer to our previous tutorial on how to program the AccuVim 2 power meter in the AccuEnergy U section on the AccuEnergy.com website. To continue, press the P key to move the indicator down to select Net. Then press VA to confirm and enter the Ethernet module settings. The first screen in Ethernet module setting is DHCP, which can be set as Auto or Manual. Auto means that users configure the module settings with DHCP protocol, while Manual means that users configure the module settings manually. This setting differs depending on your system requirement. Please note under Auto Setting, the IP address on every meter will be reassigned if the power supply is cycled. Moving on, we will now demonstrate the steps for manual settings from the first to the tenth screen. If you select auto settings, please skip ahead and start from the ninth screen. Press the VA key to go to the setting state and manual will flash. Press the P or E key to set between manual or auto and then press the VA key to confirm. By selecting Manual, you will need to set the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, and the primary and secondary DNS servers. All of this information should be available from your network administrator. Repeatedly pressing the P key will move you forward to the next screen, or press the E key to move back. As you can see, the current IP address for this AccuVim 2 power meter is 192.168. Dot one, dot two five one. To change the IP address, press VA to go to the setting state. The flashing digit indicates whether you are or are not in the setting state. You can press P or E to increase or decrease the value. After setting the first digit, press H to move to the next digit. Each digit of the IP address can be changed by this method. To confirm the IP address, press the VA key. The same method of setting can be applied to the subnet mask, gateway, DNS primary and DNS secondary servers in subsequent screens. Please note, both DNS parameters must be set correctly in order to use the SMTP function. This ensures that functions such as push email with data logs and or alarming features are working properly. The push email function is a unique and extremely useful feature of the AccuVim 2 series power meter. Moving on to the next screen, you can set the Modbus port using the same method. The Modbus TCP port default value is 502 and the user defined range of ports is 2000 to 5999. If the port number entered is not in the correct range, the set port will return to the default value. Now let's look at the HTTP port settings. The same method can be applied to change the port number. The HTTP port's value is 80 and the user defined range of the port is 6000 to 9999. If the set port is not in the correct range, the set port will also return to the default value. The settings can be reset in this screen as well. To reset, press VA to enter the setting state and press the P key to select configuration mode. By selecting no, the module settings will remain. Selecting reset will reset the module setting. Selecting default will load the module with default settings and reset the module. 
Please note, after configuring the Ethernet module settings completely, the user must select Reset to restart the module. This is necessary for the new settings to take effect. Pressing the VA key will confirm these settings. In the last screen, you can reset the AXM-NET module's password. To reset the password, press VA, then P, then VA again, and the password becomes 12345678. After configuring the AXM-NET settings completely, press H and VA key simultaneously to return to the mode selection screen. One of the more useful features of the AccuVim 2 series power meter is the ability to view, log data, and change settings anywhere in the world through your web browser or via our free AccuView software. To make full use of this function, the private network ports of the meter must be forwarded to public for external access. These operations require access to the router. In this demonstration, we are using a Linksys 2500 router. To begin, we first open any web browser, such as Internet Explorer or Firefox. We then type in the IP address of the router. Click on Applications and Gaming, then Port Range Forwarding. In this page, you can forward the Modbus port to get external access via our free AccuView software. You need to type the Modbus port number of the meter to start and end the port. In the protocol section, select both, meaning both TCP and UDP protocols. In the IP address section, type in the corresponding meter address. Check the enable box to enable port forwarding of the corresponding meter. You can also publicly access the meter via the web browser you need to type in HTTP port number of the meter into the start and end port. The rest are the same as the Modbus port settings. Finally, click on Save Settings and the meter is successfully forwarded and can be accessed and managed from anywhere around the globe. Thank you for taking the time to watch our internet connection tutorial. To find out more about AccuEnergy and our range of power and energy meters, please visit our website at www.accuenergy.com. Thank you.